Thank you, Mrs. H. A very warm welcome to you. Welcome to the bathroom and to another Sunday shave. Beautiful. <laughs> nice bit of colour in your life, hopefully, if you haven't got any. Uh, cheer, cheer you up. Um, right, what are we going to use? Oh, I, was, I just spotted this in my drawer. And what I do, I don't know if you're the same, sometimes you just take the lid and... Oh, I thought I'd got to use... Sterling. British leather. And if you're from this this country, if you smelt it, you think imperial leather, that type of thing. Beautiful. It's tallow, lanolin, and sheer butter. Good stuff. And I put some of that in the captain's choice bowl, spread at the bottom there. Um, how are you doing? That's the main thing. How are you doing and how are the shaves going? I hope very well, I hope. I'm going to give this an outing. The Merca Progress adjustable um what is that plastic or a bakelite adjuster quite a sort of unique thing and um you can see there there's a diamond on the base and a line on the top plate and they must be together for it to be correct so you undo this all the way and there's a little dot there see that dot that's the marker for the numbers so you know what numbers uh, or what um, adjustment you're on, what aggression. Got a long thread. And we're going to use this Gillette Nasset second use. Gillette Nasset second use. It's a nice blade. So it's a two piece razor. Uh, but if you haven't done it all, it's supposed to be a three piece, but it's a two piece officially. Make sure we got the lines to get the, uh, the line and the. That's it. I'm gonna, the uh, triangle, the um, triangle, and you close it all the way, and then you come back, and then it's correct. So we'll start setting five. It has got a plus, so you can go higher, but uh, that's good. I hope you can see that. Setting five. Um, another razor very similar to this is the Parker variant. Um, I like the Parker variant, how it looks and how it shaves, um, but I also like this. And I think uh, a company or whoever, someone, um, maybe an artisan, didn't they make a, a thing called the Murgris where this was metal? I think so. Right, brush of choice, 24 millimeter synthetic tuxedo knot, barber pole handle made by DS cosmetic so we'll uh, we'll create the lava first then we'll prepare the face we'll do it back to front yeah so welcome to sunday i hope uh, you're having a good day so we're wet but we're not dripping stab the soap out and go again, that's lovely. Oh, <laughs> they've got it really nice. This, um, the scent is really so much the same as the Imperial leather. I go so much the same. I think this is good strength. So, I think this is more like the original uh, Imperial leather. It's the same now, the scent, but it's. It's like the old spice. We can get old spice now after shave, no problem. Brute, it's available in the supermarkets. Um, well, brute is. You don't see much old spice, but you can you can buy it. It is in some, um, but it's widely available. The new version, the modern version, and yeah, it smells like old spice. Then smells like brute. But if you have the original brute by Fabergé, Schultz and Old Spice, you can tell they're the original. Um, especially if you remember them from years ago, which I do. And the uh, same with this, the Imperial Leather Soap we get now, same scent, lovely scent. And when we were children, if you had Imperial Leather, you were posh. <laughs> yeah, so it's, um, see, that's beautiful, look at that. Didn't take long. And uh, the old soap, 
sure it was a bit bigger, it used to have a sticker on it and uh, it was lovely. And then the modern sub now is uh, is nice, but you can tell the original if you like, if you if you know what I mean. And that is like the original. Bear with me, I'm gonna see if I can find it. I thought I had an Imperial leather soap, a modern one. No I'll tell you what I have got. That ah, that's a lovely scent that that's an old scent. Right. God, you can smell it now. I've done a shave with this. Well, not this particular one, another one. Right coal tar soap. Beautiful, that's taking you back a few years, I tell you. Anyway, we, di we digress from the shame. Let's, uh, let's wet the face. That's lovely. Okay. So what's on your schedule, should we say, <laughs> today? Anything? Something nice, hopefully, if, you, if you're off. Right, here we go. Mm. That is gorgeous. Been using a few adjustable razors. Oh, here we go, here we go. Some noises. Right, you may not pick it up on it. Millie's about. But I don't want to bring her in too often because she'll every time she hears me she'll want to come in, you see, so okay, so we're gonna do that. And we'll heat the progress, milk of progress, so we it's a heavyweight this, it's a sort of Indented lined knurling, nice razor, nicely balanced. Um, as I say, it's five plus, so you can. I think you can go if you wanted a chance, you can go to ten, you know, five plus. But um, that's very aggressive, you know, you, you could walk through the gap probably. But we'll heat it up. And we'll see how this uh, Gillette Nasset second use does. Here we go, we're starting the moustache for a change. Oh, nice, yeah. I think this comes in different handle lengths, um, long and shorter. Right? So far, very nice, and the, the Gillette Nasset feels very, very comfortable, very smooth. And as you can hear, Cutting through it, but it's not as you can hear it, but it's not as raspy sounding as uh, what was the other one I used the other day, like buttering toast. This is lovely. The scent on this for me is gorgeous. I love it. Strength. Three to four. Very nice. These are my opinions, don't forget, you know. It's, uh, I think it's important to stress, you know, that when you say things, it's, it's not in, it's not sort of in, stone it's it's sort of that's old saying your mileage may vary it may be different to you maybe um, whatever but uh, we gather that we'll just add a touch of water i'll have to wash them whiskey <laughs> so 
Sorry, mum. I'll wash him. Yeah, this is, this is lovely. Really nicely made. And the scent, as they say, is spot on. Oh, we'll just clean it up nice and tidy, hopefully. We're keeping the shirt clean so far. We're in the uh, official blood and blade. It's not official, I just make it official. I, I bought this and, and, you know, hoping I wasn't tempting fate, you know, blades and blood. But we do get a bit of blood, don't we? We do get a bit. <laughs> when you're shaving this way, it's not if you cut yourself, it's when. Right, so we're going to bring it down now, just hold the side. There is a slight overhang on this. So we're on the dot there, number five. So we bring it down to, I'll tell you what, let's go, let's go, let's go nuts. See the line? That's three and a half between three and four. Let's go to three and a half. Let's live dangerously. Cross the growth now. Beautiful Sunday shave. Very comfortable. What's your shave of the day, please? If you haven't one. And is what is your what is what, <laughs> what is your specific Sunday lunch? All right, then. In other words, what's your meal of the day? I'm trying to be sophisticated. I know, yeah, it doesn't suit me, does it? No. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. That's a nice setting, that. I would say the three and a half, so probably three, three and a half, four, would be, um, for me again, this, this blade and all that type of thing would be a standard aggression but the number five is a is aggressive but it's a really smooth comfortable aggression not merc a future r41 um mule r41 aggressive but you'd be heading into those territories with this if you went to the five plus i think six uh how it works five plus and then you go down to the one that would be six number two would be seven if you know what I mean, up to 10. That's how I see it, isn't it? This is a lovely scent. I can really smell it here now. It's a nice um, scent strength as well. It's not over the top, um, but it's just a bit stronger. Whereas you don't have to try hard. It's there. It's really, really, really nice. One of those where I think when you leave the bathroom, maybe you come back in yourself in an hour or something, or your wife or whoever, and they come in there, wow. Well, as long as they like the scent. <laughs> Lovely slickness. Very nice. Well, that touch of water you can use. Mmm. Sunday lunch, what, what am I having? Well, I am having a sirloin steak. Oh, I'm going to suggest this. Um, just bear with me. I'll we'll take it down to. We'll go to two, we won't go any lower. Try the number two there, can you see on the bottom? Um, yes, yeah, sirloin steak, which I'm going to um, uh, 
bake, I'm not going to grill it or fry it, I'm going to bake it in foil um, with some garlic butter and uh, nice and slow, a bit of water as well, a bit of, uh, oof, and uh, God, I'll see I'm hungry <laughs> and I'm going to do some against the growth. Um, chips peas mushrooms and uh, fried onions but the onions you see when I'm doing the steak about halfway through cooking the garlic butter a bit of water I'll add the onions in on top of it and then they'll sort of sweat and steam and, and um, so it'll be steak chips peas onions uh, mushrooms and a peppercorn peppercorn sauce Fancy it? Give me the word, I'll put a plate out. Well, I can't ask you how you like your steak because it's not going to be pan fried. It's going to be, as I say, sort of baked. Steamed away, so it'll just melt when it's done, low and slow. But I, if see how I feel, I may put it on the griddle. I got a griddle to go on the gas top, on the uh, in the kitchen on the cooker. And then just finish it on there, sear it to give you the lines. You know that uh, <laughs> presentation, is it? It's only me looking at it. Under the nose. And thanks again for the comments and nice to see Todd back off your, I did see your comments Todd, thank you so much, glad to see you back safely off your travels and I see that uh, you're just like the rest of us, you've succumbed to the can't keep away from shaving shops, uh, Todd just been to New York and uh, guess where he went, to the pharmacy. Joe from Queens. I hope he's doing well. Go well on. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Look at this. Lovely. Yeah, Joe from Queens. Remember him? I think he's retired now from work and um, there's a lot of his grandchildren, I think. He's, so he, I suppose he's enjoying life. So if you're ever watching this, Joe, all the best. Hot dog. I said I'd love to try a New York hot dog. The reason you see me going all over the place on this pass and in lots of directions because that's exactly what my hair does, it grows in different directions so you're going to sort of go this way and you'll catch a few that way and then you'll go this way.
As you can hear, there's not a lot left. Very happy with that. Gorgeous slickness. So, do you have a cold water rinse? That's lovely. Nice. Lovely. Tulips. Oh no, I don't know. Don't. Those roses, but carnation. Oh, don't start. <laughs> Yeah, that's lovely. That's out of my expertise. But then I'm sure they're carnations. Anyway, really nice sandalwood, which I sandalwooded. And then, of course, the matching, the aftershave is the British leather. Ooh. See, the original Imperial leather aftershave is beautiful. And I've got, uh, I got about two, three bottles maybe, and two were sent to me very kindly. One as part of a set. So they're in my collection. There we go. Beautiful scent. Oh, go on then, have a sniff to that. And then I thought this would go nicely with this type of scent. Um, the Gabri Aftershave Cream Cologne. And then you're free to go to do whatever you want. We've got no outtakes with four-legged friends today. She, uh, mind you, she did come in when I was setting the things up. But there was no shenanigans as I was going to press record. And that is lovely. So just before you go, recap. We've used the Merca Progress. Uh, setting five uh, with the growth and then we use setting three and a half across the growth and setting two against the growth and for pickup time we've used the Gillette Nasset second use DE blade um, beautiful in all respects soap quality lathering um, protection slickness and scent and the strength is between three and a four. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, we've used the Captain's Choice Bowl. We've used DS Cosmetics 24 millimeter tuxedo synthetic barber pole brush. God, try and say that when you're trying to cook a steak. Welsh water to rinse from our good friend Paul and colleagues. And then we've used some Humphreys Witch Hazel, which I've put some sandalwood uh, essential oils in. British leather aftershave, and then this uh, Gabri, and it matches the brush, it? this Gabri aftershave cream, aftershave, aftershave cream cologne. Good stuff. And that's it. Leave you to it. Have a great Sunday, rest of the weekend. Stay safe. Uh, smile, make someone laugh. Try and be happy yourselves if you can. It's excellent for your health, and especially your mental health. And uh, enjoy your shaves, enjoy life, and I'll see <laughs> just get on with it. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. All the best, many thanks for being here, and bye bye.